my name is Kyle Gilson, and this fall I will be a senior in the Industrial and Operations Engineering Department at U of M. And this summer I participated in the SURE program, doing research under Professor Amy Cohn. And the research I did mostly pertained to the airline industry and its operations. And I mostly looked at how required aircraft is affected by additional sack time. So required aircraft is just how many aircraft that an airline would need to fly a daily flight schedule. And sack time can be thought of as kind of buffer time in between flights. So you can imagine if you had two flights that were scheduled back to back and the first flight was late, then the second flight's gonna be late. But if you put time in between the flights, then the first flight could be a little bit late and the second flight would still be on time. So sack time just adds robustness to a flight schedule. But um so you you would think, why don't you just add robustness? Well, one of the reasons is that you would, an airline would need more airplanes. So, um, and it's, an airplane costs $100 million, so adding a few airplanes could mean, you know, $500 million, a billion dollars, so it racks up pretty quickly. But um, I guess to convince you that adding slack time requires more aircraft, uh, here are some slides that I have. Um, so here's a picture of a simple flight schedule that only has two airports and two flights. Um, the first flight flies from Detroit to Boston at 1 o'clock, and then the second flight leaves from Boston at 2.10 and flies right back to Detroit. And so in this simple flight schedule with only two flights, you would only need one aircraft because the aircraft would start in Detroit at the beginning of the day and then fly the first flight to Boston and then immediately turn around and fly back to Detroit. But if you wanted to add sack time to these flights to make the schedule more robust, I would say 20 minutes of slack time, your flight schedule would look like this. And so in this case, the Detroit, each flight uh, arrives 20 minutes later than it was supposed to, just for buffer time. So instead of arriving at 2 o'clock in Boston, the first flight would arrive at 2.20. And the second flight, instead of arriving at 3.10 at Detroit, it arrives at 3.30. So, but as you can see though, in this flight schedule, um, you would need another airplane, you would need two airplanes, because by the time the airplane that comes from Detroit lands in Boston, the Boston flight needs a plane to leave. So since the flights overlap, you would need two airplanes. Now, one may argue though that why don't you just move the planes apart? Why don't you just reschedule the planes so that they don't overlap by 10 minutes? Why don't you just say, okay, how about the first flight that goes from DTW to Boston just leaves 10 minutes earlier so that you still only need one plane? So what we do is we take that into account with um, this idea of time windows, so rescheduling flights within a certain amount of allowed time. So to figure out how many airplanes the uh, airline would need after they reschedule the planes accordingly, now just the, we set a time window, so they can't reschedule flights whenever they want, it has to be within, you know, plus or minus 15 minutes. So um, what we did was we built a mathematical model. And um, just to show you guys a mathematical model, just so you can see what it looks like, um, here it is. It has um, an objective function, so we want to minimize. So this represents how many airplanes an airline needs. And it's subject to two constraints. One that says that each flight can only be scheduled to one time window, so it can only be scheduled to one new time. And the second constraint, um, it's a little complicated, but it just means that you can't, create or destroy airplanes. It pretty much keeps track of all the airplanes. Um, so I just want to show you guys that so you had an idea of what a uh, mathematical model looked like. So we implemented this mathematical model in C++ using software called CPLUX. Um, and we plugged in data sets from two airlines, American Airlines and Delta. So in this graph you can see that the two top blue lines, those are American Airlines, and then the bottom two lines, the red ones, are Delta. And also, the dotted lines are how many aircraft the airline needs if it doesn't reschedule its flights, so, that if, so if they cross each other, they just leave them crossed. But then the solid lines represent how many airplanes airlines would need if they optimize their schedule within a 15-minute time window. So, you know, as you can see, it's pretty intuitive. As you add more slack time to each flight in the flight schedule, you need more airplanes. But um, it, you can see, though, that once you optimize the flight schedule, you can decrease how many planes you need by a lot. Here's another interesting graph that we made. Um, so not only did we see how slack time affected how many planes an airline would need, but we also looked at how big the time window was and seeing how 
that would affect how many airplanes and aircraft would need. Because maybe an airline isn't very flexible with how much time they're willing to reschedule their um, flight schedule. So as you can see, you know, again, as you increase flight time, it goes right to left. You can see that you need more airplanes. And then also, as you, you know, don't allow as much movement of the rescheduling, it increases a lot. So this just kind of shows you the relationship between all three aspects, um, the slack time, you know, the robustness, and then how much airlines are willing to re, you know, reschedule their flights, and then how many airplanes they need. All right, now also remember that an aircraft costs about $100 million. So if you look at the z-axis here, which represents how many aircraft Delta needs on June 1st by their schedule, um, it ranges from 250 to 370. So if you're going to convert that into money terms, that's about a $12 billion range, which is a ton of money. Um, so and even just changing the slack time and rescheduling a little bit can cause changes in, you know, just a handful of airplanes, which is still millions and millions of dollars. Um, all right, well, that's all I have. Uh, feel free to email me if you have any questions.